Good morning everyone. Welcome to the morning devotion praying through the Psalms. My friends, today we are praying Psalm 39. The author of Psalm 39 is King David. In fact, both Psalms, Psalm 38 and Psalm 39 are written by David when he was seriously sick. In Psalm 39 we have seen David speaking of his own illness and he wanted a kind of recovery from his sickness. But in Psalm 39 David had almost given up hope in his life. He thought he would die very soon. And so he has a kind of talk, death talk. He says that life is very short. Life is nothing. and man is just a breath let us read verse 6 second part indeed my life is as nothing before you every man is but a breath and so here david has gone into kind of despair he lost the hope in his life he was so sick too sick and he thought he would die pretty soon now as we read some 39 especially verses from 8 onwards 8 forward 8 9 10 11 11 there is a kind of different tone in the words of david now he wants to live now he doesn't want to die so he is pleading with the lord lord you are my hope deliver me from this sickness from my sins take away this plague from me this sickness from me you have given it to me take it away from me so he wants to live again Let us re- let us read verse 8 9 and 11 And now Lord for what do I wait you are my only hope verse 9 From all my sins deliver me so deliver me from my sins verse 11 Take your plague away from me so take away your plague from me so you have given it to me you have given this sickness to me I am ravaged by the touch of your hand you have touched me you have you have given me this sickness so my friends david wants to live again he doesn't want to die like this so he wants to smile again before he dies which means he wants to live again so he says turn your gaze from me that i may smile again before i die so my friends this is how david is a kind of he sees a despair is an is an desperate situation and but again he wants to live again so he's pleading with the lord he wants to live again in psalm 39 we can see a couple of very interesting things they are number one his serious illness sickness and secondly he's nearing death because of his sickness and thirdly of course very importantly is that his sinfulness he thinks his sickness is due to his sins but what is more interesting what is more striking is that in spite of all this situation in spite of this dreadful situation david doesn't give up hope he wants to live again he had great hope in the lord he pleads with the lord lord give me one more chance i want to live again i want to smile before i die i want your forgiveness he pleads with the lord and so This is what we can learn from this psalm. Yes, we also can be in this kind of situation. But some of sometimes some of us would lose hope, would go into despair. But David can be a kind of great example for all of us, for you and for me. He doesn't give up hope. He stays close to the Lord. He holds the Lord very close. My friends, with all these thoughts, we now pray Psalm 39. I said I will watch my ways lest I sin with my tongue I will keep a muzzle on my mouth mute and silent before the wicked I refrain from good things but my sorrow increases my heart smolders within me 
in my sign a fire blazes up and I break into speech. Lord, let me know my end, the number of my days, that I may learn how frail I am. To be sure, you establish the expanse of my days. Indeed, my life is as nothing before you. Every man is but a breath. Man goes about as a mere phantom. They hurry about, although in vain. He heaps up stores without knowing for whom. And now, Lord, for what do I wait? You are my only hope. From all my sins, deliver me. Let me not be the taunt of fools. I am silent and I do not open my mouth because you are the one who did this. Take your plague away from me. I am ravaged by the touch of your hand. You chastise man with rebukes for sin. Like a moth, you consume his treasures. Every man is but a breath. Listen to my prayer, Lord. Hear my cry. Do not be deaf to my weeping. For I am with you like a foreigner. a refugee like my ancestors. Turn your gaze from me that I may smile before I depart to be no more. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for the many blessings. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of this life, for the gift of this time, for the gift of this beautiful, wonderful creation, for the gift of this health. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of this fellowship. We are able to come together, praise, thank and adore you. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful thing. Lord, as we pray Psalm 39, we appreciate David for trusting in you so much. He was in a desperate situation. He was in a great despair, yet he once again got back to trusting in you. Yes, Lord. Today we learn a lesson reading Psalm 39 that we can never lose hope in you. You are a wonderful, great God who always stands by your people. Lord, as we get into troubles, as we become weak, help us. Make us walk again your way. Give us strength, Lord, when we are weak. When we are sick, make us again well. Give us recovery. Lord, as we begin the new day, help us. Enthuse us. Make us walk your way. Make us generous. Make us kind-hearted. And may we be your children. May we spread your love, your generosity, your kindness to all the people we meet. Lord, bless all the people who watch this program, praying through the Psalms. Bless their homes, bless their family members, bless their near and dear ones. Let them enjoy your peace. Let them enjoy your blessings, Lord. May we always love you. 
May we always cherish your love for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Psalm 39 can be a big help for all of us because we too might undergo a kind of situation David underwent in Psalm 39. And that's where Psalm 39 can help us how to face the situation. Hope you liked this psalm. Thanks for watching our program. Kindly spread your word about this program with your friends. They could be part of this program as well. Thanks for watching again. Continue to watch our program on JCK Creations, both on Facebook page and YouTube channel. You may also send your prayer request to us and we promise to pray for you. See you next with Psalm 40. Until then, stay blessed.